when I was at TEDx Dhaka five years ago, I was newly married then and my wife was in the audience. Yes, I was focused on delivering my message, but I was equally focused on impressing her. A lot has changed in my life since then. I used to work seven days a week uh, without paying much attention to my health. Now, five years later, I have a daughter, I spend more time with my family, and I run at least five kilometers a day. I still have the same wife, though, and I still try to impress her, and it still doesn't work. But let's focus on running for a minute. I'm sure many of you in this audience are avid runners. Can we have a quick show of hands? How many of you run? Great, wonderful. Running can have different purposes. You can run to burn calories. You can run to reach a destination. You might also be running to escape someone. In the trajectory of our life, we're also running. Running since the time we are born. Running since we enroll in school. Running to complete education. Running to find the first job running to impress that special someone, or multiple ones, running to advance her career, and running to make more money. Have you, however, paused for a moment to ask, why are you running? You may be running faster than your peers, but how do you know if you're running in the right direction? For the past nine years, I have been working with young people and adults, helping them build their leadership capabilities and realize their potential. I have heard countless times people saying, follow your passion. But I am here to tell you differently. I am here to tell you, follow your purpose. Because you see, purpose is what gives direction to your passion. Passion is what you like. Purpose is what you value. Passion is like a ball of energy. Passion is desire. Passion is a drive. Passion is a force. But unless you deploy this energy in the right direction, passion can build you. Passion can also break you. You may then ask, how do I find purpose, the purpose which will channel my passion in life? A good starting point to think about purpose may be to look at your actual behavior, your day-to-day -day actions, how you're allocating your time, not what you're saying, but actually how are you spending your hours in the day. And that will give you an indication of what you really value in your life. And it is possible for you to have multiple purposes in life and at different stages in your life, you may prioritize them differently. In your 20s, your purpose may be to advance your career. In your 30s, you may prioritize your family. In your 40s, you may prioritize looking after your aging parents. So it is okay for you to change the priorities of your purposes. But what I am here to tell you is it is equally important to have a higher overarching purpose. An overarching purpose that defines the trajectory of your life. And you will find your higher overarching purpose by reflecting on your values, on your life experiences, and the people you're attached to, and the loyalty you feel towards them. My overarching purpose in life is to create a just, tolerant, and inclusive world. I aspire to live behind a Bangladesh that is better than the one that I inherited. For me, Bangladesh Youth Leadership Center is the vehicle through which I am trying to serve my purpose of creating a better Bangladesh and creating a better world. But during my interactions with young people and adults, I have seen how easy it is for us to be disconnected from our purpose. I have seen firsthand well-meaning, skilled, capable people getting derailed, losing track, 
when they are disconnected from their purpose. And after nine years of running Bangladesh Youth Leadership Center, I have come to realize that when divorced from purpose, skills are meaningless. I want to offer two reflections on how we can stay connected to our overarching higher purpose in life. First, staying connected to purpose requires focus and consistency. And many of you who uh, raised your hands, you will relate to this. When you go for a run, there will be mornings when you get up and you just don't feel like going out. But you have to force yourself get up and go for a run because that builds consistency, that builds focus. And once you do it every day, over and over again, that becomes a habit. Similarly, in life, there will be days when you go to work and you're just not connected to what you're trying to do. But you have to push yourself to stay connected to that purpose. It's, it's an effort that we have to put in. It may not always come naturally. But for us to drive our pur purpose forward, we must be consistent and we must be focused. The second idea that I want to put forward on how we can stay connected to our overarching purpose is the, is the idea that in life, we have to be able to differentiate between what is indispensable and what is expendable. Let me illustrate this with an example. Imagine you are going to run a marathon. A marathon is for 42 kilometers, and your friends, family, well-wishers have all come to cheer for you. They're with you at the track. Now, after every kilometer, your well-wishers, because they mean well, come and give you a bottle of water. If you start picking up every bottle after every kilometer, by the time you reach the 20th kilometer, you are carrying 19 bottles of water. Really, what do you think is going to happen to you? Similarly, in the marathon of life, since we are born, by the time we are three years old, our mother has an expectation of us, so she loads us with her expectation. And your father has his expectations from you, so he gives you his bottle of expectation. You go to primary school, and you do, do well in maths, and your teacher thinks you should be a scientist. So that's another bottle of expectation for you. In secondary school, you write well, so your teacher thinks that you should be a writer. And in high school, you have that special someone, that special someone who you think you're going to spend the rest of your life with, and by the way, the whole world, except you, knows that this relationship has no future, and it's soon going to sink like the Titanic, that special someone wants you to be rich and famous. So that special someone has loaded you with another bottle of expectation. By the time you're 20, you're carrying all these bottles of expectations with you. How can you achieve your overarching purpose in life if you are carrying all these expectations? So for you to achieve your potential, to realize your aspirations from your own life, to serve your purpose, you have to start emptying some bottles. Because in life, if you are not running with your own purpose, you're running with someone else's. So I encourage you to start thinking about which are the bottles of expectations in your life that are absolutely essential for you to take forward. And which are the bottles that are no longer serving your purpose? Which are the bottles that you need to get rid of? Which are the bottles that you need to start emptying so that you can start serving your purpose? As you resume your life's run tomorrow, I invite you to spend a little more time thinking about your purpose. See, life cannot be just about making it to the finish line. Let's not run just for the sake of running. Let's find our higher overarching purpose and run with it. 
Thank you very much.